coming here this evening um, on a Thursday when it looks like it might rain. Um, I believe um, that I am one of the luckiest people in the whole world having wonderful compadres, uh, wonderful in-laws that I have not only Blanca but Bonnie and Hector who are here with me today uh, who have dedicated their time uh, to this campaign. And of course I can't uh, tell you how grateful I am to the person that I have spent the last 40 years of this life uh, with me, my love of my life, my Irma, uh, and I were never high school sweethearts. In fact, she had her own boyfriends and I had my own girlfriends. And for those of you who may know me, I went to the seminary and then I left and Irma is always the first to say it wasn't my fault that he left the seminary it was another one but I ended up with him <laughs> uh, so I want to thank her uh, my four beautiful children we have five beautiful grandchildren and another one on the way and just so that um, we were all on the same page the uh, push card that you have in front of you on the back has the early voting dates and the day of the election. So if you take one of these, you're not going to have any excuses for not knowing when to go vote. And voting early is, is usually the best way of doing it. Voting is a privilege that we have that unfortunately too few of us exercise. And that's one of the problems that we have with our community. We need to make sure that we get people to go out and vote, to exercise that right as American citizens that we have. Blanca mentioned that we are the poorest area in the nation. And you know what? We can look at that as negative or we can look at that as an opportunity. And what I want to do in the next few minutes is share a vision with you about what I think our county is all about. And our county is not about Ruben Peña. It's not about elected officials, it's about people like you. People who live in this city, who live in the country, who work day in and day out, and who sacrifice, and who look to their leaders to try to bring our county to what it really ought to be. Our vision of this county is one in which we need to make sure that we look to the future for economic development, for jobs, for children who are now being educated, for children who are dropping out, we need to partner with our colleges, our universities, our technical schools to bring them together to forge a partnership so that we can have great jobs for people who can earn a living wage. That's one of the things that a county judge should be doing, is bringing these things together and seeing what the vision of the future should be in Cameron County. Irma and I were very fun fortunate the other night. We, we were at a, at a social event. We were at a dance, a New Year's dance for our church. And, and Irma and I weren't really going to go. We, we were going to stay home and like we always do, we spend it quietly. We just, uh, we, I, I usually cook something and you know, we, we, I fall asleep real early these days. but. <laughs> She said, no, you know what, we ought to go and support our church. So we went and we bought tickets at the last minute. So we didn't have a uh, reserve table. We just sat with some, some people and we didn't know them. And we started talking to them. There's this young man uh, in his mid-20s, maybe late 20s, graduated from Hannah, is now a, a, a draftsman with, with Amfels and is working to get an engineering degree. His fiance is at Texas A&M also from Brownsville, also a Hannah graduate, and she's studying to go to medical school. This is our future. These are the people that we need to bring into our system. These are the young men and women who are going to make Cameron County no longer the poorest, but the richest county in our country. And that's how we start. We start by giving them hope, by showing them that there is a vision, that there is something that they can work towards, that there is something, something other than not having a job and, and not having any hope for their family. 
I have a vision about our natural resources. We, have, we are blessed in Cameron County. We have an island, Isla Blanca, Andy Bui Park. Those are, those are such precious resources that we need to make sure that we preserve them and we protect them for the future of our, for future generations. Our children, our grandchildren, and their children need to make sure that those areas are theirs for the future. When you go to South Padre Island, if you, and I don't know anybody, either and I take our grandchildren to Isla Blanca. And, and if you've been there recently, in the summer, it is packed. People enjoying it, people having fun. And what we need to do is we need to make sure that we protect it. We need to make sure that people are educated about keeping our beaches clean, about, keep, about you know, I'm, I'm an Eagle Scout. Uh, and those of you who, who've ever been in scouting know that the motto of an Eagle Scout, or a Scout at all, Eagle, a Boy Scout or a Girl Scout, is you leave the place that you found better than when you found it. So you, you, you police it, you, you pick it up, you do things, and that's what we need to do. Andy Bowie Park instituted, you know, I, I don't take any credit for it, but I had mentioned it long ago to the commissioners, get a bag and, 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 and have, have an entrance fee, but if, if the bag is brought back full of trash, then you, you return the fee. And, and that's an idea that is in a lot of places in our country. It's not unique to us, but you know what? It works. And what it does, it creates, it creates a, a sense of conservation, it creates a sense of belonging, and it creates a sense of pride. And so that's the vision that I have for our natural resources that we have here. The other vision I have is we need to connect our county. In rural areas, we have people that do not have access to high-speed internet. Children and adults cannot connect to the internet. And why, that, why is that important? Because anybody that lives in a city, has Time Warner, or has AT&T, or has some kind of, can access that internet. You can do all kinds of educational things. You can, you can pay your bills, you can entertain, you can do educational things. But if you're in the county, you're cut off. You don't have that. So connecting, and we have an infrastructure fund in the state of Texas that we need to tap. And that's what vision is about Cameron County. That's the vision that I have for, for our county in regards to connecting Cameron County. I also have a vision for safety. Safety and protection. Anybody that lives in the county has two sources of protection our sheriff's department and our constables and those two are incredibly important to the protection of our communities we need to make sure that they have the resources but not only the resources but the communication because many times our, our residents in the rural areas need help immediately they need someone to come out there to help them now and so, what does that mean? That means that we have to have the communication ability amongst all different law enforcement, fire protection, so that people can feel protected. Part of, of the safety and health of our county also depends on brush pickup. If you go out in our county, you will see tons of brush and debris out there. And that is not, that, that is a health hazard. So, one of my visions is we need to institute, once again, brush pickup, and again, get our community to feel pride in, what, in, in their community. And that stops the dumping. That stops, you know, and it starts in the schools. If we, if we get into our schools and, 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 and educate our children, they'll tell their parents, we can't do that. We can't throw that mattress out there. We can't dump that trash out there. We need to take it because the county and the cities have sites that are in fact available for us. So that's the other vision I have for, for our county. Finally, I have a vision of this county where our government is open and transparent. Where you as citizens are being able to access information at any time 
at anywhere. As a lawyer, my, you know, I'm a firm believer in the Constitution of this country. I believe that the informed citizen is the greatest protection against tyranny. And if you need a, a budget, if you need an open records request, if you need something from, from your government, you should not have to wait for an attorney general's opinion. You should not have to wait uh, for, for some kind of excuse. You should be able to get it. You know why? Because government should not be hiding anything from us. Government should be part of who we are. Because you know what? You are the government. It's not the elected officials. It's you, the people, that are the government. That's my vision for our county. One of the things that I firmly believe in my wife is, you know, Irma is a great, is, is not only my partner, but she's also telling me when I go too long. And I tend to go too long as a lawyer. So when, I, when you start seeing her doing this, that means I need to start shutting it down. One of the things that, that I firmly believe in, though, is elected officials need to listen. We need to stop and being self-important and listen to the people who have elected us. And, and, and that, that is so crucial because once we listen, then we have the input, then we have the analysis of where we go next. And, and, and we ought not to be doing it in isolation as, as a county judge or a select group, a group of people. That's not the way government functions. I anticipate having meetings, open meetings in all of our communities, in all our rural areas, so that we can have that kind of communication, that kind of input into, into county government. So communities in Santa Maria, Santa Rosa, Los Fresnos, La Feria, along the Ranchito, Blue Town, all these areas that have been neglected, forgotten, that we, we, you, you don't hear from them. I'm going to go there. I want to hear what they have to say. And the other thing is we need to have our meetings when the people can attend. Not at 8.30 in the morning when only those of us who are retired are going to be able to attend. We need to make it open to all the to the entire public. Yeah. This vision is not mine alone. It's our vision. And only we can do it together. This endeavor, my run for county judge, cannot fail. It must not fail. It will not fail. Because with you, we will be able to do it. Thank you. God bless. Thanks.